Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, getting a little deeper into section Q of IXL's 8th grade math. Uh, still dealing with dilations. Today we're going to talk about scale factor and classification. Classification first, I think that's the easy part. You'll get this down pretty quick. Um, is this blue shape an enlargement or a reduction of the black shape? It is an enlargement, okay? The blue shape is bigger than the black shape, so the black shape was made bigger, it was enlarged um, by whatever dilation was done. All right, so there's an example of an enlargement. Uh, is this orange shape a enlargement or a reduction, okay, of the black shape? So the black's the original. Uh, the orange, which is smaller, is a reduction of the original, okay, by a certain scale factor. And we'll talk about those scale factors now. So now that we've got uh, enlargement versus reduction down, here we go into scale factors. So now we're trying to figure out the scale factor of this enlargement. Now, there's a couple ways to look at this. What I like to concentrate on actually is um, the origin, okay? This distance right here uh, is, a, is a length of two. So this point is two away from the origin as opposed to this point right here, which is the corresponding point, and it is eight away from uh, the origin. So what we need to ask ourselves is two times what equals eight? And that would be our scale factor. Okay, so obviously that scale factor is four. So what is the scale factor of the dilation? The scale factor is four. Everything's been made four times as big. Now, another thing you can look at too is um, this any side length. This is a side length of two. This is a side length of two. This is a side length of four. And if you look at the other sides on this figure here, this side length, which corresponds to this one of two, is actually eight in length. Two times four is eight. This one also eight in length, which corresponds to this one. Two times four is eight. And this side length right here um, is 16. I'm sorry, no it's not. Yeah, it is, it's 16. Because four times four is 16. Our scale factor is four. All right, moving on. We're going to figure out the scale factor here that was used to make this reduction of this green shape. So again, I, I would just look at this point right here, which is at negative 1, and this point right here, which corresponds to it, which is 2 down on the y-axis. And negative 1 times 2 equals negative 2. So that's why our scale factor is 2. So our scale factor here is 2. Uh, other places you can kind of see this relationship. Here's a side length of 4. And then when you look at this side length right here, uh, it's 8. 4 times 2 is 8. Um, or you could look at this point right here, which is 2 above the origin. And this point right here, which is 4 above the origin. 2 times 2 is 4. So our scale factor is 2. Now a couple where we get some uglier ones here, and um, we got to be careful that we do this in the right order. So the black is the original, the purple is the new. All right, so let's, I would just look at this point that's 3 above the origin, and this point right here, which is 4 above the origin. There's our ratio right there, but here's what we're going to do. Um, the original is 4, so we're asking 4 times what equals 3? Well, maybe if you solve this equation, um, if we divide both sides of this equation by 4, then the 4s would cancel out, and they'd leave us with our scale factor 
is three fourths. All right, so that's our scale factor. So this black shape um, was reduced by a scale factor of three fourths to create this purple shape. So where else can we see that? Um, we might see it right here. This side length is 12 in length. And when you take 3 fourths of 12, well, 1 fourth of 12 is 3. And 3 times that would be 9, which is this length right here. So 3 fourths of 12 is 9. Or 9 over 12 equals 3 fourths. Okay, so the answer is either four thirds or three fourths, but four thirds would be an enlargement, three fourths would be a reduction because it's less than one. Here's another one. Um, and again, I, I would just focus on some points like this point right here is at negative three, and this point right here that corresponds to it is at negative two. So we could just so we know it's an enlargement, so the ratio has got to be greater than 1. So we could just do negative 3 over negative 2, and that would be our scale factor. It's just 3 halves. A negative divided by a negative is positive. Uh, another place you might see that, here's 3. It's got a length of 3. This side length right here that corresponds to it has a length of 2. So 3 over 2. All right, so dilations, finding scale factors, um, ratios of corresponding sides are uh, useful, as well as finding distances from the origin to corresponding points. Good luck.